Hi, I'm Hema Chen. In this video tutorial, we are going to generate procedural fracture animation with ink particle. And this is the simple workflow for this tutorial. First, we will generate a mesh with ink particle. And we will break it with volume breaker operator. And we will add force to it. And finally, we will uh, activate collision between the fragment and uh, activate the fragment generated by the volume breaker. So let's get started. First, go to uh, customize uh, unit setup. Be sure your system unit set to centimeter and uh, use the generic unit if you want. Uh, first of all, we will create a simple box for the floor. The size will be around 100 and 100. The next is import any any mesh, any 3D model you want to break with Jenny particle. Here I import a very simple cup created by myself. And make sure the cup, the unit for the size of the cup is around 10 by 10 by 10. So now go to uh, particle system and create a sink particle anywhere in your scene. And uh, open the property of it. Here we need two group. generate and create a group called it source and another group is fragment we call it frag and for the master dynamic we will create a, first of all create a dynamic for generate Now under this generator, we will create an operator, generator, and a position bone. And we will generate another operator is called uh, shape and geometry instance. And con connect those two operators. And for the position bone, set the, its group to source. And just to remind you, we are at this stage, generate mesh. So in this uh, geometry instance, we will pick up the cup we just imported. So pick up. And in order to show your mesh in your scene, you have to uh, select the master dynamic and uh, check the show mesh. Now we see our cup in the scene. Uh, you might need to lower down the floor. The next step, we are going to break this cup. We are going to break it. So open up your ink particle property and uh, click on master dynamic generate another dynamic set. We will call this volume breaker. We will apply volume breaker to all group, so group all. And uh, create another operator is called the volume break. Uh, volume break and connect those two operator. Now we can turn on the wireframe, turn on the edge to see the result. You might you might see there's a velocity for your particle, so you might. Go back to position bone and set the speed to zero. After apply this volume break operator, you will see 
he cut the cup into pieces. But if you want the fragment to be smaller, you have to set the raster size to lower. For example, I, if I type in 10, you will see smaller fragment. If I type in 5, it will crack more. Sorry, I have forgot one thing. Go back to generator and position bone and set your uh, Position bone from count to pistol shot to one. Therefore, we have one cup only, not 25. And so you the next step is to add gravity force to all those fragments and make it move. So click on master dynamic. We will create another dynamic set. We'll call it gravity and this gravity will apply to uh, all particles and we will generate uh, uh, operator dynamic and force and we will use a helper standard 0.3 as the direction we set the point three direction zero to minus one. So this force will point down like a gravity. So we connect the force direction to the vector of point three and connect all particle to the force. As you can see we play the emission, those fragments goes down. If you want to enhance the effect, you can make the strength of the force higher. For example, I type in 10. So it will fall down. Okay, finally, we are in the final step, collision and activate fragment. Uh, what we want to do is when this fragment get cup collide with the floor, it will activate a bottom breaker and shatter the this cup. So select our thinking particle. Click on master dynamic. We will generate another dynamic set, we'll call it activate frag and first of all, we I will create a, a SC, a shape collision it's a operator dynamic and uh, shape collision and C. As you can see, we have a floor node. So uh, I will generate a helper standard node and click on our floor box, box floor and connect the floor node from SC to H node node. And uh, we will try to activate the bottom breaker in the step three uh, in, in the step two by adding an operator called bottom break bottom activate. Click on bottom activate operator. You will switch to bottom break. This is uh, generated in the uh, step two. So now we have to create a condition to make this happen. So 
let's create a condition standard in group and uh, a helper standard n. So let me explain this. Uh, when when the shape in the source group which belong to particle collision particle A and it's at the at the same time it collide with floor will activate this volume volume break activate so I uh, show this on and uh, when both of this happen it will activate the button activate operator so define the collision particle a as button break activate and collision position a as the volume activate alteration position So now we can play the animation C uh, what we got here. Okay, it's not working. Uh, make sure you set the uh, right group for each operator. For the, this shape condition, you have to set the group to all, and the in group is set to source. And play it again. Uh, so you can see it's something there, but uh, we have to tweak some of the parameter. Oh, sorry, I forgot one thing. Go back to volume breaker dynamic set. In here, he, we have a uh, zero percent of activate. You have to set this to hundred percent and uh, play the animation. And also, you could rotate this cock. Now we see the uh, cup shattered, but uh, it's not looks very good. Uh, in the master system, select the fragment group and set the color to dark gray. So we can see it. Better. So you can see the fragment looks too sticky. You stick together and even not look like a glass, a cup made of glass. So what we can do is go back, go to the activement, activate fragment dynamic set and click on the SC. In here we have uh, several parameters that related to physical simulation. For example, the dynamic friction, static friction, and most, Im most important of all, here we have a collision, it's set to about 10. I suggest you lower this parameter to about one or two. Uh, if you still not satisfied with the result, we have to add a uh, more node to control the volume activate. So let's create a three helper uh, float node. Those three float nodes are going to control three parameters of volume activate operator. Initial lens, spreading lens, and the spreading segment. So let's just let's just type in for the first one five and check the percent per percentage. The second twenty check percentage. The 
spirit one and connect those router to initial lens, spreading lens, and spreading second. And play the animation. And uh, for the SC, you could uh, set the physics collision from 2 to 1. looks better so that's it Th this is all the node we need to uh, set up for procedural fracture so now we have a cup if we want if you want to create a shattered box you just create a box in the scene And in our generator uh, geometry instance, remove the cup and add the, the box. And play the animation again. Okay, one more dra dramatic effect by low down the floor. And even you can enhance the force to about 50. And I increase the length of the animation. Okay, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching this video tutorial. I hope you find this tutorial useful. And bye bye.